Okay, now get to the multifunctional actuators. It can be flexibly programmed as switching, curtain, and HVAC control. So the cost in general will be cheaper than classic actuators. The main characteristics are for four volts. It can be set as maximum four-channel switch outputs, or two-channel AC curtain outputs, or one-channel DC curtain outputs, or one-channel fan control outputs, or one-channel valve control outputs. For eight volts, it can be set as maximum eight-channel switch outputs, four-channel AC curtain outputs. Two-channel DC curtain outputs, two-channel fan control outputs, or two-channel valve control outputs. For 16 volts, it can be set as maximum 16 switch outputs, eight-channel AC curtain outputs, four-channel DC curtain outputs, four-channel fan control outputs, or four-channel valve control outputs. For 24 volts. It can be set as maximum 24 channel switch outputs, 12 channel AC curtain outputs, 6 channel DC curtain outputs, 6 channel fan control outputs, or 6 channel valve control outputs. The output requirements are configured via parameter. Switch output connect some electrical loads such as lighting, socket. All channels have the function of general switch, staircase lighting, lighting flashing, and switch delay, scene, operation hours counter, logic, and force operation. Curtain output, AC or DC, connect with motor blends, awnings, roller blends, vertical blends, etc. With operating shutter and slot adjustment, Automatic sun protection, scene and safety operation, etc. Fan control. Support up to three level fan speed with general operation, forced operation, auto operation, and status response, etc. Valve control. Connect with two pipes or four pipe system. Support three valve control types. Three point, open and close, continuous PWM, and two state on or off, and support disable, enable, hate, and cool. Valve status response, valve purge, etc. Then let's take a look of the database on ETS. In this section, I will show you all possible parameters, but I just emphasize some important ones. Okay, let's take a look at the database for multifunctional actuators 4 volt, 8 volt, 16 volt, and 24 volt. This is the general setting here, and for each channel, we can see it can be used as switch, curtain AC, heating, cooling, two pipe. Okay. If we choose this one, we want to check the switch function, then we can see here it's switch actuator and the special function here, time logic, scene forced and operation hour counter. It's quite similar with this classic actuators. Okay, then if we use it as curtain AC mode, we can see it's quite similar with shot actuator. Okay, so this the same thing, same thing, and it is also the same, the same control, maximum 8, okay. So if we choose it as another one, for example, the curtain DC, so it, we use, it has to use four channels. Okay, let's check the DC. Here we can also control the ventilation blend and shutter is the same with shutter actuator and the drive is the same. This also the same, the scene is the same. Maximum eight scenes. 
and the CFT. It's also the same. And if we go back to this channel, we choose another one. For example, we choose the heating. And uh, yeah, let's check the heating. It's something different. Okay, you can choose this. And for each heating, these three types is the same with Funko actuator. Okay, let's go back. If we choose another one, for example, we choose the fan control. Okay, these channels are used for fan control. We can control one level or multi level, and we can also set the fan speed here. It's the same with fan actuator actually. So let's check the last one if we use it as valve control for pipe. Okay, if we use this one, let's check the difference here the heating and cooling for pipe to control value and the heating setting we can set like this. The cooling is also like this. Okay, as you can see, this multifunctional it can work as the Classic switch actuator, classic SAT actuator, and classic fan coil actuator. We have 4 volts, 8 volts, 16 volts, and 24 volts. Thank you, stay tuned.